Forty NDR introduces a new management feature, center and sensor mode. This mode allows centralized control of Forty NDR sensors deployed in branch offices. With this feature, you can centrally manage configuration, license, backups, and even train the machine learning anomaly baseline for all your sensors. In this demo, we'll showcase effortless center and sensor basic setup. streamlined operations to manage sensors lock filtering from specific sensor for effective analysis ml baselining made easy enhanced security with dual center i am already logged into 40 ndr center and sensor 40 ndr requires identical software versions on both center and all connected sensors to ensure proper operation On the 40 India Center, navigate to System and then Sensor Settings. This page displays a list of all registered sensors with the details like host name, IP address, model, and serial number. On a 40 India Center, go to System, followed by Sensor Settings. This section displays information about registered 40 India Center with the details like IP address. The 40 India Center offers a centralized platform for managing and configuring connected sensors. Here is a demonstration of its capabilities. Within the center's sensor settings, you can access various functionalities for each sensor. These include ping. This allows you to test connectivity between the center and the sensor. Command history. You can review past commands sent to the sensor for tracking purposes. Backup sensor configuration. This feature enables you to download a backup of the sensor's current configuration file. Let's demonstrate how to modify a sensor's host name directly from the center. I'll download the configuration, edit the host name by adding the suffix sensor in the end, and then upload the modified configuration back to the sensor. Go to Restore Configuration and upload the modified file, and refresh the browser. will display the name change in the host name section the center seamlessly handles the update to verify the host name change you can navigate to the sensor node itself and verify the updated host name displayed there moving back to center this section will demonstrate how to leverage network insights and fortigard iocs to pinpoint suspicious activity fortigard iocs identify known malicious urls and ip threats You can even filter by each individual sensor to pinpoint the source of the suspicious traffic. The filtered view displays the traffic flagged by the chosen sensor, allowing you to focus on potentially malicious activity. This anomaly tab provides insights into anomaly content detected by 40 NDR and its occurrences in the network. Next, navigate to network attack section. which are known attacks detected by the network intrusion protection database 40 ndr can detect north south east west ips attacks depending on where india's network ports are placed 40 ndr leverages machine learning to enhance threat detection capabilities let's explore how to configure an ml profile within the virtual security analyst on the 40 ndr center navigate to virtual security analyst and then ml configuration Go to Sensor Group ID, click on Create to initiate a new profile. Select the sensor you want to associate with this profile. Choose the specific feature you want the ML algorithm to analyze during the training process. These features will help the model identify anomalies within the network traffic. Here, we'll define the baseline behavior for anomaly detection. Select Class C network as the baseline profile. which represents typical network traffic patterns along with other features once training is complete apply the changes to activate the newly created ml profile this profile will continuously analyze network traffic at the application layer and identify any deviations from the established baseline potentially indicating anomalies or security threats it's important to note that ml profile creation can only be done on the central 40 ndr center not on the individual sensors 
An important step in this process is establishing a baseline for normal behavior. Let's walk through how to set the baseline timing via the 40 India Center's command line interface. Switch to the CLI mode on the central 40 India node. Execute command execute reset ml baseline time followed by group id then baseline training time the group id identifies the specific sensor or group associated with the ml profile the baseline training time this value specifies the duration in seconds for the system to analyze network traffic and establish the baseline behavior after the training period the status will change to baseline ready indicating that the system has established a baseline for anomaly detection Navigate to the Network Insight section and then ML Discovery. This page displays detailed information about the anomaly baseline for the training features. You will see examples of potential anomalies detected across different network layers. Here, it identifies unusual remote procedure call communication occurring on port 9999, which deviates from typical port 135 used for this service. This anomaly detection capability is precisely what we achieve by training sensors with the ML profiles. 40 NDR offers a robust deployment option with dual center support, scalability and redundancy. You can deploy two 40 NDR centers in primary secondary configuration. The primary center actively manages sensors and applies ML profiles for anomaly detection. The secondary center operates in parallel, also training and baselining anomalies with independent ML profiles. This redundancy ensures uninterrupted operation even if the primary center encounters an issue. Geographical flexibility. Unlike traditional high availability setups, dual center mode doesn't require data synchronization between the centers. This eliminates geographical limitations and allows for geographically dispersed deployments. Sensors maintain their connection to FortiGuard for updates and manage their local database independently. Independent anomaly detection. Each center can utilize distinct ML profiles for anomaly detection. This flexibility allows you to tailor security strategies to specific network segments or geographical locations managed by each center. Thanks for watching.